Artists, storytellers, beatmakers, this is the latest news, deals, and free plugins from the music production world. Modeling mics. If you've been interested in buying one, but they've been too expensive, that's changed now. These are now the cheapest modeling mics condenser and dynamic mics that can model other more expensive mics. I think I'm right about that. There's nothing less than $299, right? Okay, so the SD-1 has been around for a while and now they've given this mic modeling capabilities. And this is the brand new SC-1. It's a large diaphragm condenser mic and it's $499. Both of these mics work with the new plugin called Hemisphere. Hemisphere lets you make these mics sound like other famous mics. If you get the SD-1, you'll have some familiar dynamic mics that it can emulate. The SC-1 has some very well-known condensers that it can sound like. Should we run the test? Let's do it now. Here's the SC-1 microphone emulating a Neumann U87. I'm gonna switch around the mic models as I talk. So the appeal of mic modeling is that you can get a different sound depending on a particular vocalist or a sound you're looking for. It's kind of fun having access to all these mics. All right, now to the SD-1. Now, Universal Audio introduced the Sphere mic some months ago, more expensive, but you'll get a lot more mic emulations with that system. The SC-1 and the SD-1 are a more affordable way to delve into the world of mic modeling. Maybe they'll release more mic models for these in the future. Anyway, the SC-1 is available for pre-order now, and the SD-1 has been available for a while. Also, the software works with the S. P1 mics by Universal Audio as well. I'll add links below the video if you're interested in learning more about these. Question of the week. Okay, so modeling mics and plugins, are they worth the money that they save you? Giving you a bunch of mics instead of buying each of the real ones. I hear some of you rave about mic modelers and others are not so convinced. Let me know which side you're on in the comments below. Oh, and if you're checking out these mics on the Universal Audio site, make sure you pick up the free LA2A plugin. I mentioned this last week and you have until the end of this month to get the free plugin. Hey, it's an LA2A by the company that makes the LA2A. Three more new plugins have released this week. Let's check out the first one from Artoria. It's part of their new EFX series and it's called Motions. And you guessed right, it's a movement tool. Think moving filters, distortion, noise, beat repeats, pan. I love movement plugins because they add so much life to a boring track or instrument. EFX motions got a bit crazy right away when I tried some presets. Some of the features remind me of Shaperbox and other features remind me of Effectrix by Sugarbytes. The repeat effects feature is really cool and all of the other features in one plugin for $79 right now isn't bad. By the way, that's the intro price. It will go up to $100 once the sale is over. You can get a free demo of the plugin using the link below. Okay, the next plugin released this week is from Lander. So check it out. Lander has been offering an online mastering service for a long time. Now they have a mastering plugin. And to be clear, they say that their new mastering plugin is the same AI engine used in their online service. This new plugin listens to your mix and then applies its mastering suggestions on it. You can tweak them after and also choose from a warm, balanced, or open sound. You can buy the mastering plugin outright for $300, but you also get it in their Studio Pro subscription package, which also includes distribution of your music, other plugins, and a bunch of other stuff. $300 is the same price as Isotope's Ozone Advanced plugin, but hey, $300, if you like the results, then maybe it's worth it to you. Maybe I should do a side-by-side -side comparison. And another plugin, Pitch Innovations, the plugin company that won two MIDI Innovation Awards for their first two plugins ever, has released a new plugin. This one looks like it's aiming at being more fun than a serious problem solver like the last two. Groove Shaper is a shape-based sequencer plugin that creates complex rhythms for anything you play. 
They demoed this with bass, drums, and strings. Bass definitely makes sense, but I was also impressed with the rhythms they came up for the strings. You can create your own by just dragging shapes onto the sequencer slots. This plugin actually hosts other plugins within it. So you're not routing MIDI to other tracks to your instruments, which makes things easier using this plugin. Groove Shaper is $29 at launch. There's also a free trial in the link below. In the next few weeks, I'm going to be releasing my top 10 lists for 2023, top keyboards, top interfaces, top headphones, and top studio monitors. I've been testing gear for the past few weeks and the results are in. Look out for those videos coming really soon to the channel. Okay, one more bonus plugin. This was actually released the week before. Heinbach dropped a new plugin in collaboration with AudioThing. It's called Lines, and it's based on an old device that was used to simulate signal loss over telephone and data lines. Leave it to Heinbach to create a unique plugin out of this thing. You can use this plugin to create lo-fi effects, but it can also be used to create sounds by applying a feedback loop that creates basses, rhythms, and even bird sounds. Lines is on sale for a very reasonable $39 right now, and you can demo it as well. I've linked it below. Bitwig has released version 5.1 of their Studio DAW and have introduced 10 new filters and wave shapers to color your sound. They do things like add shimmer, add brightness, change format, add sweeps, and lots more. The new version of the DAW also adds voice stacking to layer up to 16 voices, new GOI features, and more. Bitwig is a nice complete DAW. You should check it out. Okay, a couple deals to highlight this week. If you like Black Rooster audio plugins, they are now up to 75% off. The best deal for sure is the All Bundle, which gives you their whole collection for $99 instead of $400. Also, if you purchase anything from Plugin Boutique, you get Pure Limit by Sonable for free this month. If you're looking for some very affordable studio monitors, the Presonus Eris 4.5 monitors are on sale, only $150 for the pair. I use these in my studio for a long time and love them. This is an awesome price right now. If you want to upgrade to something nicer, the Atom T5V studio monitors are on sale as well. These made my list of the best studio monitors and now they're even cheaper. Links to everything in this video are in the description and the first comment below. Okay, Somatics have released a new free plugin, but before I get to that, here's a quick word from our sponsor, DistroKid. DistroKid is a simple and fast way to get your music onto Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, Pandora, pretty much everywhere. And DistroKid collects earnings for you when anyone plays or purchases your music. So don't keep sitting on those songs, get them out there and get some plays. I've created two videos on DistroKid that will probably answer any question you have. You can watch them right here. And if you're ready to sign up, use the link below to get 7% off your first year of membership. Today's freebie comes from Simmatics. They've released a new effects plugin called Deja Vu. It's a time warping and pitch shifting plugin that has a built-in looper. Send audio through it and everything will stay in time. Pretty useful. So check it out. This thing is a microphone and audio interface in one device. And last week we unboxed and tested it with vocals, guitars, spoken word. It looks like a travel mic, but it sounds like a studio mic. Check it out right here. Keep making the music you love. And I'll see you next week for my top headphones for 2023.